about four o'clock this morning. Uh, just being around here. That's where we're at. Let's see. They're getting us unloaded now. It's about um, 8.30. Um, they started this morning, but we had a lot of stuff in this truck, so. Uh, get unloaded here, then we head down to Moreno Valley from here. Um, I'm just sitting out here. I got tired of sitting in the truck, so I come outside and sit in the shade. It's nice and cool. Um, went pretty good. Wasn't too bad getting in here. A little tight, but we made it around the corners. Donna's in there taking a nap. She got up about 2.30 this morning and drove down here. Uh, like I said, we got here about 4. They come, come up to the truck about 5. So she said she was tired, so she's gonna take a quick nap. So um, I'm not sure how much longer they got. They were about three quarters of the way done. So they should be getting done here pretty soon. No, we can go out right here. I was already down there. Just like that, we are our Harbor Freight. Oh, and first one's here. Look at that. Woohoo! That is the last one's here, why don't you? Either way, we don't have a line, so. We'll take it, right?
Glad hand seal looks like that. Just change it. Don't run any chances. I use this. It's the, the key for our chain. Get it in there like that. And just pop it right out. Hopefully you saw that. your new one pushed in there. Use your key and kind of waller it out so it seats down in there tight. There you go. Trailer picked up at Harbor Freight. Donna's in getting the bills and getting the seal put on. Yeah. Looks like it could rain. Everybody else seems to enjoy them, so that's all that matters. It smells like rain. I miss that smell. When we were in Arizona, it had a distinct smell. Uh -huh. Barstow, California. Just scaled our load. We got fuel, then rescaled. <coughs> Make sure we were still good. And we were. And we got a confused Stevens up here. There's a lot of Stevens trucks here. But yeah, we was like 20,000, or 20,000. We was like 12,700 on our steers. Then we put in like 110 gallons of fuel, and now we are 12,120. 13,000. So, or 13,120, I'm sorry. And I'm not gonna do the math right now, but what we're trying to figure out is, if you put X amount of fuel into the tanks, how much is going to the steers, how much is going onto our drives? It makes it a lot easier for us to figure that way when we need to stop and get fuel. So we don't worry about overweighting ourselves. Yeah, we're not over on draw, it's not even close. No, we're but only steers are, right on. Yeah, like we're only like um seventy one thousand pounds right gross. But the problem is we we're not able to slide our fifth wheel. Here at Hummer they have it uh, permanently mounted. Um at Curry's we had a slidable fifth wheel and we could just slide it clear to the back and take ninety percent of the weight off of our steers. But here we can't, so we gotta be really careful with that. So yeah, if anybody's bored and wants to do the math on that, 106 gallons and it added 400 pounds, no. Uh, yeah, they added 400 pounds to our steers. So how much of that weight went to our drives? Or 
how much of that weight of 106 gallons of fuel went to our steers was 400 diesel fuel 7.2 pounds per gallon so yeah I can do the math I just don't want to do it right now <laughs> and now there is a new thing here in California and I just talked to the lady at pilot she said it's only in California that she knows of now they charge you 10 cents if you want a bag to put your stuff in <laughs> so be aware when you're out in California and you go into a pilot or a flying J. Only take what you can carry because Yeah, only <laughs> pick up what you can carry or bring your own bag in with you. Otherwise they now charge you. It's not like ten cents is a big deal, but it's just the principle. So yesterday we had an armful of stuff. Because <laughs> I wasn't about to give them ten cents for a stupid bag. That we're just gonna throw away anyway. Yeah. She said they're trying to get well, they're not doing plastic anymore, they're doing paper bags. So they're trying to justify their cost or push their cost of the paper bags off onto us what they're trying to do um, which doesn't surprise me but anyway yeah be aware next time you go in if you're out in california you will be charged for the bag or you'll be carrying it one of the two all right so we're getting back out on 15 north following stevens doing 17 mile an hour i have no idea what this guy's doing but he's causing a heck of a fluster behind us um back up with you on our on our way unless we come up with something to blab about but yeah if anybody wants to figure that out we put 106 gallons in it added 400 pounds to our steer tires diesel fuel weighs 7.2 7.2 pounds per gallon continue on this road for so we're trying miles. to see what the percentage is of how much of the fuel is going to drive weight and how much is going to steer weight that's what we're trying to figure out I, i've kind of roughly figured not too long ago and it's kind of like a 60 60 40 split i think 60 60 percent of the weight goes onto our drives and 40 percent is going onto our steers i think that's pretty close but it'd be nice to know exactly saves you a lot of headaches and scales okay we'll pick up uh on our way through That's where we are. We do know we're 15. 
102 miles away from Iowa. Well, 50 miles from Flagstaff. Yeah, we should be at Flagstaff here pretty soon. Um, so that's where Flagstaff will be at our end. We'll let you know in the morning anyway what's going on if they swap our load on us. Or I don't know. I think in the next couple weeks we're going to see if maybe we can get some. Uh, Maybe some Texas, Florida, things like that. We gotta get out of these mountains. This, this truck dogging up these hills is just driving us nuts. We've gotta get a break from these mountains for a while. Um, see if maybe we can get some flatland stuff. Uh, at least for a few weeks. Yeah, at least, not, I mean, not a permanent thing, just for a couple weeks, so, so we can get a break from the irritation of this thing. Um, it's, it's just driving me absolutely nuts. Her, not as much, but she's about halfway there. Um, yeah, so we're going to maybe see if we can get some flat, flat land work out that way. And Texas is a good run. Um, it's good miles, and it's, it's a good run down there, too. It's pretty flat for the most part. Florida's a pretty good run until you hit Tennessee, but that's not, it's not California. Yeah, it's just a couple of small mountains. We, we just need a break from this 35-mile-an-hour stuff up these. So we got some more information. It's from Kansas to Minnesota. Yeah, it's from uh, Kansas to Minnesota. We'll, we'll update you tomorrow when we get uh, when we get started in the morning. Let you know what's going on. All right, so we'll see you guys tomorrow. Like I said, I ain't gonna film anymore because for once, it's starting to get dark and it keeps raining and it's kind of gloomy and crappy and you ain't gonna see much anyway. So we'll see you guys tomorrow morning. We'll update you then. Thank <laughs> you.